What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy B and I am back again. So title of the video Somebody tried to finesse me, but they don't know who they messing with man um, You know, I know too damn much um, And like I said, man, anybody can get it you guys got to be aware of uh, what you're looking for So long story short, I try to pick these up um, I try to buy these to uh, flip them, you know, make a little bit of extra coin. Um, I talked the guy down to a fairly good price. Um, it was actually two ten. Um, this is was a size eight, and these were going for uh, three twenty, three twenty on StockX. So you know, you know, I try to do a little quick flip. You know, I'm always looking out, trying to make a little bit of extra cash so I can, you know, keep the collection going. Um, long story short again, the guy sent me some fakes. These are fakes. I have uh, two pairs of retails, of course, in a different size. So, um, I'll go ahead and show you guys in a little bit what to look for, man. Anybody can get it, guys. Again, man, you just got to be very careful. Um, the ones nowadays are coming coming so damn close to uh, retails. It's, it's crazy, man. If you don't pick them up on release date or you don't pick them up from a homie or someone that you can trust... You will get guy, man. That's that's a fact. Um, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and look at all the details. We're gonna get really in detail on these ones. Um, what to look for. Uh, long story short, I'm gonna go ahead and get my full refund, and I'm trying to get the seller banned from selling on that website, on the app, because uh, that shit don't fly, man. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at these. Let's get in detailed, in depth. Let's go. All right. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the boxes. The left is a fake right is on the retail of course these are different sizes the fake is a size 8 my retail pair is a size 12 it's my personal size um, not much of a difference on the boxes like usual on these ones they do get them down pretty close the only major difference I would say is actually the font here at the bottom text uh, versus the retail the retail is a lot more cleaner also to um, they all them label themselves the size 8 of course is a fake guys um, not much of a difference um, here's a retail pair. See, information and everything is correct. Uh, the fakes have been coming with the little yellow part on the back of the suggested retail price. Here's the part I was saying with the fuzziness on the fake pair. Here is my retail pair. You can see that this is a lot more sharper. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, inside of the box. Um, they both come with the quality control stamp uh, Right is retail left is fake remember uh, Different numbers uh, Actually the colors on the labels on the boxes themselves look a little different one's a little lighter and one's darker You can see that there tissue paper and This is a retail tissue paper My pairs came from nike.com nice text uh, tissue paper one side is the gloss, um, matted, the fake is, one side is super glossy, very thin. So we're gonna go ahead and grab each one of the shoes. Uh, went ahead and go, went with the left. That's the one with the uh, extra lace bag. So let's go ahead and take a look. Go ahead and start with a quick overview of the sneaker. This is a fake pair. that stood out was the lace bag this is a retail lace bag you can see that's nice and even nice and tightly packaged let me show you the fake one the fake one actually sits higher it doesn't go evenly the color of the laces are actually off it's all it's all bad um, and it's actually longer too the thing that stood out was the tongue this is my retail pair the Nike Air is nice and clean and detailed. No jagged edges between the letters. Let me show you the fake pair. Here is the fake pair. You can see there's a little bit of kind of jaggeds in between the air there. Um, you can see it right there. 
it's just not as sharp or the lines are not as clean as the retail pair also sags more down the other one actually sits higher it'll sit something like this so stuff you got to be aware for fakes on left retail on right as you can see the reds are actually off uh, the reds are lighter on the fake pair and the retail pair they're actually darker i don't know if you can see that there the fakes are lighter and the retail is actually a little bit darker not by much though also to the midsole seems a tad bit creamier on the fake pair versus the retail pair also this is the fake pair the white leather that they use is actually the wrong leather this is super tumbled leather as you guys can see out there versus on retail they have more of a flat leather they're both good quality leathers but the other one is the wrong leather that they used um, this pair is from nike.com behind the tongue tags retail on left fake on right you can see it there the color is different and also to the fonts are different um, the fake is a little bit bolder you see how much more higher it sits the font versus the retail also to the they do both have the number tags on the bottom here As you can see it there there is a number tag here it's kind of hard to see but it's there this is the this is a fake pair it does have it again the color is off the number seems to be correct so watch out the wing logos are correct this is my retail pair here This is the fake one. They are correct. Uh, before you were able to tell if the R and the D connected. Again, they fixed that a long time ago already. So there is no flaw there. Right here are the insoles. Um, as you can see, see out there is a little bit. The fake on the left is a little bit darker. The Nike Air versus the retail that's on the right is a little bit lighter. Also too, the uh, men's size label there on the replica is actually a little bit bolder than the uh, retail I'm focus for you guys. there you go you can see it where it says men's size is bolder also to the paper itself or whatever it's made out of it's cheaper thinner versus the retail pair jagged edges on the side of the insole are different um, the one this is the retail pair they always have like a little sharp thing going on there on the side and the fake it's pretty much kind of flat not much there versus the retail pair okay this is the back of the insoles retail on the left fake on the right um, the fake has kind of more of a glossier type of glue adhesive uh, the fakes are super easy to pull out versus the, the retails are always usually a little bit harder to pull out the insoles are the shoe trees uh, fake on the left retail on the right you can see that the, this is the wrong shoe tree that they use also to the text and fonts are a lot more embossed versus the retail pair you can see that there the fakes actually look like they have kind of a darker type of print all right this is after you take the insole out easiest way to tell well for the most part is you see that little dot there that's on the back of the uh, bottom of the sole um, there's a little there's a little hole there Retails have one hole. Fakes, for the most part, will usually have two holes, as you can see out there. Now, there is some instances where certain factories will correct that. Um, again, that's just, it, it tends to happen. Also, too, um, the fake has uh, white stitching on the bottom, just like the retail around the side there, and also blue stitching on the side here along the collar. It's supposed to be black. Production dates on the fake. This is a size eight. Uh, July 2nd, February 20th. Retail production dates for a uh, size 12, uh, December 16th through February 14th. Go ahead and get into the glow test. So, this is a retail pair. You can see that the stitching glows in the dark. Also, the fake does do too. You can see that there.
also does two on the stitching on here on both the real and the fake stitching does glow here now the giveaway here is the perforations on the hole on the toe box or toe cap or yeah toe box on the fake they actually glow versus the retail the perforation holes do not glow and right here it is See the holes on the fake, they glow. The retail pairs do not glow. You see that there? Retail, fake. The fakes glow because they use a different type of material underneath the uh, toe box. Alrighty guys, so there we have it. Uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Um, again, man, you guys gotta be careful, man. These ones are coming so damn close it's uh it's crazy man um like comment subscribe hopefully you guys learned something from this video i know i learned you never stop learning man these things are just <laughs> they're coming as you guys see it man um yeah just be careful from buying from secondary markets i know your shoes ask questions um you guys can always hit me up if i don't reply back to you guys as fast as i want to um i'm either at work or you know kind of busy but i'll get back to you guys um, if you guys need help with legit checks, um, you could always uh, DM me on on uh, Instagram at Bethel's Kicks. Uh, info is down below too. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys to the next one. It's your boy B in the mount. Salutes. Be up, be safe. Know your kicks. Know what you're looking for. And we are out. Peace.